Hello, Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading. All right, let's do your reading and see what's coming in. This is for the end of March. So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus messages for Scorpio. What is the overall energy? Nine of Cups, wish fulfilled. Oh, I like it. So, we have the Five of Coins, Ace of Wands, Ace of Coins, yes, Three of Coins. And under the deck is the Eight of Cups, walking away from everything, anything that doesn't work anymore, you're done. Okay, Nine of Cups, beautiful. So you could have a wish fulfilled here with money, um, a new career, new love, feeling out in the cold, but that could be changing very shortly. Justice and Chair, you guys are moving on, moving ahead. You may have uh, a Libra or Cancer in your life or even in your chart maybe, but again, this is about the, the past is done, Scorpio. You can move on. You have put in the effort, the work. It's time to go. You learned the lessons. All right, the good and the bad, everything, you're in that chair right now and you're moving on. What is the five of coins? Five of swords and the ten of cups. You fought for this. People may have tried to take this away from you, but you fought for this. People may have hurt you in the past, five of swords. Um, they may have put you in the cold. They may have taken things from you, but that's going to be justified. That's going to be made right. What is this ace of wands? Four of coins and the queen of coins. So this could be you, obviously, Working hard, hanging on to your money, hanging on to your dreams. You could be getting this big coin and you could be looking at this coin. Uh, there may be a significant earth sign in this reading. For some reason, the four of coins reminds me of a child, like you sitting there with a child. But um, I'm getting more of just you, your energy, hanging on to your dreams, your hopes, uh, receiving that big coin. What is the ace of coin? Seven of cups and four of wands, a fantasy. So again, some of you may get some money in, um, job, you may be able to buy a home, move, move to a new apartment, decorate your home, seven of cups. You got a lot of wishes here and they're going to be manifested and they are going to create more stability in your life, especially if it's money. Excuse me. All right. What is the three of coins? We have the moon and the king of cups. So again, this could be you, of course, Scorpio sitting here. Could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer or another Scorpio. Could be someone though who... This retrograde and has really kicked their their butt or made them look inside or you know made them review things. This person may be new coming into your life, maybe someone who is coming in to help you, maybe a new romantic person. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's go back around. Ace of Swords, a new beginning, truth may be spoken. The sun is coming out. Yeah. I get vigilant. The word vigilant showed up with the Page of Swords and on watch. Now, someone could be watching you with the Page of Swords, but I feel like you're being protected. I'm sure if you were protected by an angel or someone in spirit form, they'd be much bigger than this page. But this is a good, you know, to me, visual of like somebody who's being very protective of you and watching over you in spirit or in physical form. Wheel of Fortune, things are turning turning ahead the wheel is turning in your favor Scorpio and then we do have this person so they're overwhelmed okay so I kind of get I'm seeing that in a few other signs there are definitely people who this retrograde is really stirring up some emotions it seems to be a very heavy retrograde for a lot of people I think some of the other ones haven't affected them this one is affecting a lot of people and is stirring up a lot of old feelings and wounds and I, I don't get this as your ten of wands. I get specifically this is somebody else who probably is not a water sign, but is probably uh, maybe regretting some things from the past, regretting some choices, maybe possibly regretting something they've done to you or just feeling overwhelmed themselves. You might be working together with this person. The universe may be bringing this person in. Um, I'm going to go deeper into them. I'm, I'm trying to feel if the queen of coin is someone else who is helping you. Could be, but I'm getting more this is you. Okay, what is the Ace of Cups? The Six of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Coins. Okay. So you're definitely also maybe, I don't want to use the word battling, but you're definitely talking things over with people uh, mentally, probably going through some, some th they're saying checklist. I don't know what that means. But um, you may be going through a checklist of who you want to keep and who you want to get rid of. You're going to sort things out is what they're saying. Things in your past, you're going to sort them out. Things are going to become clearer for some reason. Um, I'm sorry. I feel like someone was touching me on the leg. I'm by myself. So when I said some reason, I meant to say like, for, I think it was supposed to say for someone. Um, it 
So when I get things like that, when they do things like that to me, and it kind of like takes my thoughts away because I've noticed they've been like touching me more in my apartment, like my arm. Um, there could be someone who is touching you right now or you need to help them possibly is also when I'm picking up. You may not want to. Let me ask them right now. Is there a, is there a, someone they need to help? There may be someone you don't want to help. I'm getting an older person, someone who's like very old. But um, at the same time, I am getting maybe possibly a child or a teenager. Um, something needs to be straightened out is what they are, they're saying. It's not that big of a deal. It's actually um, a, something that can be taken care of very quickly. And um, there will be resolution. So I'm not sure. I'm not going to go into that a lot right now. I feel like that is if you know who that is, what that's talking about. But I just keep seeing like an older, I think it's a woman, older person, very old, older person. There also could be something to do with a will or people are fighting over um, money. Some of you may need to walk away from this also. It's not really worth your time. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for now. What is this page of swords energy? Okay, you're getting an offer in from someone. Could be a, you know, any, I'm not going to go into science. Could be anyone, but someone who's very interested in you. Um, this person is going to give you some type of proposal or offer. So I, this could be love related, obviously. Um, might be work related also. This person is sitting here in anticipation, waiting for your answer, Scorpio. I don't know if that came up for your sign. Someone was waiting for somebody, somebody's answer. But anyways, um, they are kind of keeping an eye on you because they're hoping that you will say yes, is all they're saying to me. So that one is, that one's totally up to you, who this, this king of wands is. Um... Let me go over here to the Ten of Wands. This is Lovers, the World, the Two of Swords. Okay. This is someone else. They're telling me that you could... Um, this person is also... This is a different person. This person is very interested in you also. This person also would like to be with you as I'm picking up here. Uh, you could have a very nice life with this person. You could... Um, I feel like some of you have been with this person possibly in the past, but you could actually build a very, this one would be very blessed is what kind of what I'm getting. Like you guys could build a very beautiful life together. There could be a lot of family, friends, or money, or just, you know, um, that might be an ex. This person also would like you to come back, Scorpio. This one over here. Um, this person is newer. I feel like this person, there's, um, they're saying intense passion with this person, but at the same time, I don't feel like you feel it, but I do feel like there's definitely security with this person in some way. There's definitely something about this person that intrigues you. So I do get like you have a lot of options here. Listen to your intuition. The three of coins will make you happy. The nine of cups. Under the deck is the nine of coins. So I don't know if this is working together with someone. This three of coins was on this side. This may be, so some of you may have two people and you're looking for an answer because I really don't feel you excited about this offer. This one over here, there's like more love. I'm feeling more romance, more long-term happiness. Like you may have a uh, soul contract with this person or something like that. Something that really makes it feel like it's a home. I'm feeling like if you have a question about what to do, again, they're saying, listen to your intuition, work together. You'll find fulfillment. Um, also, if it's one person, I think it's this one over here, this King of Cups. Also, anything to do with arts, working with the public, Scorpio. Um, and a lot of you probably don't want to, you don't have to work a lot with the public is what they're telling. Anything to do with um, helping people, giving them advice or answers. Um, also, anything to do artistically. They're saying you also find a lot of joy in that. Okay, that's all that came through there. Uh, let me see what else is coming through. Passion, insane chemistry, you like each other and having fun. We also have heart with a key. That's a nice card because it says welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. So you guys have, okay, I kind of feel like this might be the one that's very passionate. Maybe more about the sex and, and there could be a lot of money there. Um, doesn't have to be, but there's definitely passion on this side. Where this one, I feel like there is more of a, a romance. There is, you know, this person holds the key to your heart. And I'm getting that this was the one that they were recommending, okay? Two different paths. You can choose whatever one you want. They will both take you, I think, somewhere good. Also, um, 
Maybe that's what you're doing here also. Because it looks like you're making a decision also. So I'm not sure if the outcome is an earth sign or there's an offer being handed to you because that kind of looks like this one here. Let's see what the romance cards say for you, Scorpio. Because I feel like for March, you're going to have wishes fulfilled. And I feel like there's no right path or wrong path. It's just the path that makes you happy. Like you, there are going to be two paths to choose from, which there usually are, maybe more. But um, and it's for all your hard work. You have a wedding here, so you may you may get married to someone. There's true love. Letting go of control issues. And there's passion. Wow. Unrequited love is under the deck. I don't know if it really is going along with this reading, but there could be one where you know that there's just not enough love. There's not enough passion. There's something there. Just It's not meant to be anymore. It's time to move on. If that helps someone to know that, um, let's go to the guides and see what they're saying. We're going to go with left and we're going to go with right. Universe, angels, spirits, and guides, what do you think of the king of wands on the left side? Choose a new direction. They don't like this king of wands either. Okay, what about the King of Cups on the right side? What about the King of Cups on the right side? This one has an opportunity. Now, I know it shows a bunch of gold coins coming out of the, the, the ceiling. Um, I don't necessarily think, I mean, this, well, it does show the Ten of Coins. But I feel like there's more love here. So a lot of times when you work together, there's a lot of love. I mean, it could be just opportunity in general. It has nothing to do with money. But maybe it will lead to a very fulfilling, happy life. A lot of stability, a lot of money. You know, money makes you know things just easier. Let's just face it. So again, that's what my guides are saying about these two different people that you're going to have to choose between. So I'm hoping that's helpful. This one might be a Sagittarius. This one might be a Pisces or maybe a Gemini specifically, or maybe it is Pisces here and Sagittarius here. Just what? Maybe it's a water sign this side, maybe a fire on this side that might help you if this is resonating you might know who this is i feel like this is going to come in very quickly i don't feel like you're going to be rushed though to make a decision you may be walking away from an ex or someone from the past also as what i'm seeing here so again scorpio it's up to you i'm going to leave it here have a great week you guys and take care